guest today is made up of a diverse group of gentlemen. We've got George Nyquist from Baltimore, Maryland. He's the owner of Nyquist Inc. Paints. We've got Larry Stork there. He's a salesman, such as myself. We've got Kerry Pikarski. We've got Jack Lord. And we've got Jerry Wilkerson from Salisbury, Maryland. I think the unique thing about it is even though it was a business trip, I've known a couple of these guys for 40 years and uh, one of the guys for 20 years. Even though it was a business situation, I mean, I consider them all, you know, friends. I mean, I've known them for that long. Uh, one of the reasons that uh, I've chosen Sea Toy and Bull Tolson is because we have never, ever had a bad trip. The man he seems to have a sixth sense of where the fish are and what they're about ready to do. There's no guarantee you're gonna catch fish, but it seems like that boat comes in with more fish than any other boat in the marina, for whatever reason that is. First mate today is DJ. You want a different one? Yeah, we'll take my second, yeah, I'll grab it. DJ's been uh, first mate with Bull Tolson for about seven years. He's beyond belief with the rods, with the fish. He is multitasking nonstop. Right now we're here fishing for a uh, yellowfin tuna. It looks like there's a few fish being caught. You can see that right there, they're actually fighting a fish right now. The outlook on the day is always positive, you know? Always, gotta be positive. This morning, seas were calm, two to four footers. You're riding in a 60,000 pound vessel. Uh, beautiful ride all the way out. Feeling pretty good right now about the day. You know, it's, it's absolutely drop dead gorgeous. This is a good day. It's not flat calm, a uh, little bit of wave action. The baits look really good right now working in the water. So, Bull knows how to catch it. First hookup of the morning was uh, Jerry Wilkerson from Salisbury. Within seconds, there was another knockdown. Two fish on. Within seconds after that, there was a third knockdown. I was uh, number two man in the seat. Larry Stork was number three, and from that on, it was game on. This is work. Tuna are very powerful fish. They're 90% muscle and they just keep going and going. They won't quit. You're, you're gaining a little bit of line, and then you lose it, and then you gain it. You're going to be reeling, the line's going to be going out, then your arm starts to burn, then the muscle ache happens. You know, everybody's going to feel that. It's probably just a weird fish. Bring him in this way. I hear you. It's always fun jabbing everybody, and I knew I was going to get jabbed because I know I'm the weakest link. Oh, Larry. I'm winning now, though. He's getting tired. He's getting tired. So am I. George is a big athlete, big skier, you know. He's a big, strong guy. This better be big. Pie, you know, he's a big guy, big hunter. Used to being out in the wilderness. And I'm the little golfer with the little skinny pins here, you know what I mean? So I knew I was going to take some jab. Everybody was giving it back and forth. That's what makes it, to me, the whole trip, you know what I mean? All the guys getting together and the old male bonding, you know, and having a great time. I hope I never see you again. <laughs> First hook up on the morning, we caught fish, uh, and from then on, it just kept on going all day long. Come on, Come here, hop in the chair for me. Good fish, right? This That's about the uh, fish I'm for. My arms are getting sore. <laughs> got four of them going here at one time. <laughs> Today was interesting. We had a first timer, uh, Jack Lord. You can't say enough good things about him. You know, from a guy that just gets dropped into the deep end and told to swim, he did absolutely 
fabulous. As usually, I mean, I've only brought, I've been fishing for rock fish, nothing like this. This is wild. He's always wanted to do it, and sometimes it's more fun to watch the other guys that never did it before. That was wild, man. That was a workout, too. First big fish like that, yeah. That's pretty wild. After all the morning uh, pandemonium and all the big bites and the, the tuna just going crazy, we had a little bit of a slowdown there, which is pretty commonplace. Just about the time you think it's getting quiet, we started marking tuna a little bit deeper, so uh, Bull changed up his tactics a little bit. You want to see if we can take some of that need to get a bite, and sometimes by doing that, it'll bring the other fish to the surface and hit our other baits. I put a planer on, set the planer deep so that he was going after those fish that he was marking on the uh, fish finder. There's a uh, jigging or baits here, give a little more action. Sometimes I'll entice the first strike. And a lot of times you get one strike, and you get some more strikes. He's trying to entice and tantalize the yellowfin tuna. He's got 11 rods out, and it happens in seconds. Oh, 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 here he goes. Oh, no. It's one right after another. It's just outrigger, pow, outrigger, pow. Guy scrambling for the rods. It was two, three at a time. Every single rod just getting hit. Here's somebody right here. We had six of us. Everybody on the boat had a fish on at the same time. Running left and right, catching fish. The line's going over top. DJ's multitasking all the way. He takes care of the boat. He takes care of the fish. He's unwrapping when the lines get tangled. Crank, 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 crank. Stop cranking. Stop cranking. Back up there, Cap. Back up. You know, the last knockdowns of our trip today, we had six knockdowns on the rods. We kept all six fish, largely due in part to DJ. Good job, guys. It was just like the perfect ending to a storybook day. We all had a great day. I mean, that was the mission down here, just to get back together and be friends again, and it was a great time. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't ask for a better captain. You couldn't ask for a better mate. I mean, uh, you know, Bull and DJ were just tops. And the fact that it's on film, you know, it's something we can all take with us and show to our friends. And you know, it's just one of those days you're going to remember and talk about for a long, long time.